talk about the cringe short film. Uh, I'm pulling up. This is from Alex and John. They're TikTokers, but also just pursuing film and stuff. Um, I love their humor and everything going about them. And for me, this short, I didn't know what to expect from it. I kind of just went to watch it because, oh, I like their stuff on TikTok and Instagram and all this stuff. And I really like their podcast. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. And I watched it and I was actually like pretty impressed for the overall concept in what, 14 minutes mm -hmm. and how obviously I've watched them on social media and they kind of play themselves. So it's like, I have that relationship yeah. aspect to like fall back that like, oh, I love them as a relationship. Mm -hmm. And then when he ends up being a piece of shit at the end of the movie, like it, it sucks, but it's like the whole cringe aspect, especially being in this community and being in social media, it hit a little harder to home than I expected. Like mm -hmm. when I tell my wife to hold the camera up and like <laughs> help me pose for some fucking stupid thing or, you know, vice versa when we're shooting this podcast and I'm like, Phil, do this, Phil, do that, Phil, do this. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. Same thing with like Comic-Con, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. we go to Comic-Con yeah. like, and I made Phil do the most embarrassing thing probably when we had to do the live stream right after the panel and oh, all yeah. these people are just staring at us while we're sitting out in this beautiful Vista view <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. so I know you guys watched it overall. What did you guys think? Do you guys agree with like the whole concept of like what I'm saying and like how they pulled it off or what? Yeah. I mean, the whole idea about how social media and like the way how we have to present ourselves online to it is cringe. Yeah, it, it's tough. Yeah. And um, it kind of like opens your eyes to like a perspective or it's like a perspective that everyone kind of knows but doesn't really talk about. Yeah, right? it is cringy to do social media stuff in general yeah. and film things in general. Like, uh, I don't f like filming vlogs personally. I've tried and I just feel awkward. Like I used to yeah. try and do Blu-ray hunting vlogs and I, I felt awkward doing it, like going into Best Buy filming like my whole experience. Like, and then it's like, I feel like I have to buy something cause I'm going out for a vlog yeah, yeah. And it's just like you don't really feel that so what about you seth i know you're specifically did you start on tiktok or did you start on youtube tiktok okay so yeah. like how do you like I, they started on tiktok too so i'm like curious on that output i i honestly i really enjoyed the movie too and i, I think it's like you know everybody expects like people just to be like happy all the time and that's like what you see on social media you only see the like one side of things and like I feel like it's important for people to share the other side of things as well, but it's also like it takes a lot on people's like mental health and things like that. Like that's one aspect that I don't think people get and like people are getting shit on all the time and torn down for the reviews and things like that. And I think uh, people need to remember that there's, they're just people too on the yeah. other side. No, yeah. I agree. So overall, I liked it. Uh, I'm excited to see what they do next because I yeah. think they're filming another thing right now. Um, but I thought this was a, like as a short film, it's better than any fucking short film I made. I'll tell you that right yeah. now, quality wise. And I, I won't say, great. I'll say ours were a little bit more fun to make. Yeah. Phil yeah. used to be, I mean, you were in almost all of them, right? I'm trying to think you were in the know. Deadpool one. You were in the horror one, but you mm -hmm. couldn't stay that long for the horror one. So we killed you off first. Yeah. We switched your position. So <laughs> he, I don't remember what happened. I don't know if it was work or something, but he had to go. Yeah. And so he was originally supposed to be like one of the last survivors. So I just fucking ended up killing him off right at the start. The Pokemon one, that was another one you got busy. So we mm -hmm. kicked you out of the group earlier on. We did like a Pokemon Go, like Addicts Anonymous That's one. Awesome. Uh, went on a little too long. I hate that edit. <laughs> I would have cut out a couple things. But yeah, no, like uh, short films are cool because you get to kind of like see like a viewpoint of like someone's personality. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I, I got a lot from this. So overall, uh, eight out or out of 10. Uh, so we skipped the seven. I would go an eight out of 10. I do eight out of 10 too. Yeah. Eight out of 10. I was going to say there was an, uh, there's another short film cause we don't really talk about short films. No. Here. And I want to add a little bit more. Um, the only other short film that I really seen that I, that like sticks out to my mind and you might know this is the lights out one. Before oh, they made yeah. it into before a movie. they made it into a movie, yeah. Yeah. I hate that, that whole, fucking short. Yeah, that whole short. Not because it's me, bad, it's scary. Yeah, it gave me goosebumps and it was like, oh, you know, and then it but got now, so popular yeah. and they made it into a it, movie. I, well, and you see the director and like now he's doing an Until Dawn movie. Yeah. Like it's cool to see like I think short films are a big way Raka Raka made talk to me. Yeah. And you see all their YouTube things were basically short films. Yeah.